There's a moment in tech when a device breaks the rules so quietly that people only notice once the shockwave hits, and Samsung's next mid-range phone is shaping up to be exactly that moment. A feature set meant for future flagships is slipping into a phone nobody expected, and the plot twist is bigger than anyone realizes. Welcome back viewers, Sam here. Like, share, and subscribe for more! Samsung has been playing a very different game lately, and the latest leaks around the Galaxy A57 5G show just how unusual the strategy is becoming. This isn't the typical mid-range refresh where you get a slightly brighter screen or a small camera bump. There's something deeper happening here, something that hints at Samsung reshaping the entire hierarchy of its lineup. And it all starts with a feature the flagship S26 series might not even get at launch. The early certifications confirm that the A57 is stepping up to 405W charging, which is already surprising on its own. Samsung usually keeps this speed as a premium privilege, but once again a mid-range model is stepping ahead of a flagship that still seems stuck at 2050W. It's strange, it's bold, and it raises a big question, why would Samsung let a mid-range outperform the S series in such a core experience? That's where the fun begins, because the bigger twist isn't the charging speed at all. Deep inside the filings, something unexpected appeared. The Exynos 1680 chipset carrying support for Bluetooth 6.1, and this is not a tiny upgrade buried in a spec sheet. This single detail makes the A57 the first smartphone in the world to adopt the new standard. Not the S25, not the incoming S26 Lenup, and not even the iPhone 16 series. A mid-range device got there first. If that doesn't signal a shift in Samsung's strategy, nothing will. Bluetooth 6.1 unlocks two huge benefits. The first is next-generation privacy protection, making it far more difficult for unknown devices or trackers to follow your signal. In a world where digital security matters more every day, this is a leap consumers can feel, not just read about. The second benefit is power efficiency, not the kind you barely notice but real improvements that allow earbuds, watches, and accessories to stretch their battery life further than before. It's the kind of upgrade that affects your entire ecosystem without you thinking about it. And speaking of ecosystems, Samsung's timing is very suspicious. In a good way, the Galaxy Buds 4 Pro launching with the S26 series are also getting Bluetooth 6.1. Connect the dots, and it becomes obvious that Samsung is preparing a complete ecosystem refresh. And the A57 isn't following it. It's triggering it. That alone makes this phone one of the most strategically important devices Samsung has worked on in years. The upgrades don't stop at connectivity. Inside the A57 sits Clips 550 GPU based on AMD's RDNA 3.5 architecture, which means smoother gaming, better thermal efficiency, and more stable performance spikes. This is the sort of leap Samsung usually reserves for the next Gen FE models or an S series refresh. Yet here it is, quietly powering a mid range phone that's now competing with older flagships at a shockingly close level. But Samsung didn't stop with performance. The design language points towards slimmer bezels, a flatter HDX 120Hs panel, and a 5000 Mies battery paired with Android 16 and One UI 8.5. These aren't just incremental changes, they're signs that Samsung wants its A series to feel premium without charging premium prices. That brings us to the feature that could shake the entire mid-range category. The privacy display. This technology was originally expected to debut exclusively on the Galaxy S26. Early testing suggests that the A57 might also get access. The idea is simple, but incredibly effective from the front. Your screen looks crystal clear. But from the side, it fades into a blur or goes completely black, keeping your messages, photos, and notifications hidden from anyone sitting beside you. For commuters, students, office workers, or anyone who hates shoulder surfing. This feature is a game changer. Yes, it may slightly dim the panel or alter color accuracy, but the trade off is worth it for anyone who values privacy in crowded places. What makes all of this fascinating is not the raw specs, but the timing. 
Samsung's mid-range phones have always been popular, but they've never directly challenged the position of discounted older flagships the way the A57 is shaping up to. It feels like Samsung is preparing for a bigger shift, pushing the A series upward while redefining what the S series needs to offer in the future. If they continue this pattern, the gap between mid, range and flagship might get thinner every year, forcing competitors to rethink their entire strategy. And that leads to the question that's going to dominate discussions for months, if the A57 delivers all these upgrades, plus, first, in, the world wireless technology, plus a potential privacy display, and does it at a mid-range price. Is there any reason to pick a last year flagship anymore? It's the kind of debate tech fans love, and it's only going to get more intense as more details leak out. The next few weeks are going to reveal even more about Samsung's strategy, and I'll be here breaking everything down piece by piece, giving you the inside story behind every leak, certification, and design shift. So, if you enjoy staying ahead of the crowd and getting the deeper context behind every update, make sure you subscribe and stick around because Samsung is cooking something big this time and we're just getting started. Until then, take care, stay tech, savvy, and I'll catch you in the next one.